Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I haven't filmed in probably a week and a half and I feel awful about it. Um, I just, I don't know. With this new job, I've just been sort of trying to get into a routine and failing horribly and I don't know. Like, I have guaranteed weekends off and I still, like, on my days off, I don't feel like putting on makeup. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm so sorry that this is a day late, but I do have my subscription box blitz update for July 2017. I believe last month I was at 21 items that I was working on, and I only have finished up 6 of them, which is kind of disappointing, but it is what it is. So as usual, I'm going to show you what I finished off, what I still have going, and then what I'm adding in. So, in no particular order, I have this from Christoph Robin. It's the Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt. It was a, like, scalp scrub that you used like a shampoo. And I actually really liked this a lot. Um, I did find that it could be kind of drying to the hair, but uh, paired with, like, a hair mask, it worked really nicely. I found that it really pulled all the crap out of my scalp. I didn't notice nearly as much dandruff as I normally have. I do suffer with dandruff and I have a hard time finding products that really address the issue. So this was actually kind of a nice surprise to find and I liked it. I think I got five or six uses out of this and I would definitely get more of this. It's so expensive so I'm gonna try and like swap for it on my subscription addiction um, because this is a perfect product to have in the summertime when you're sweaty and greasy and oily and it just really helps get all the crap off of your scalp so uh yeah that's finished the other hair product that i finished off is from Devonus. i lost the cap and then the cat started playing with it and i forgot to put the cap back on when i got it um but this is the oi all-in-one milk it was like a leave-in conditioner type product I didn't enjoy this. Like, it was an effective leave-in conditioner, I think, but I hated the smell. It was just so overpowering, and it, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand what this fragrance is supposed to be, but it was just not pleasant, and yeah, uh, would not seek that out. Then I do have, the rest is all skincare. This is the Caudalie Resveratrol Lift facelifting moisturizer broad spectrum spf 20 this was half an ounce i noticed that this has like a pink reflect to it which was really weird i don't understand why and i didn't notice it on my skin but it was like shimmery um i don't get it at all but this was fine it was almost greasy um it was very thin it was it smelled like a sunscreen and it felt like a sunscreen and I would not seek this one out because it's not cruelty free and it wasn't my favorite texture. Then I have this guy from A Cure. It's the Pore Minimizing Facial Scrub. I was like, I, I feel like I just talked about this, but I talked about this in my empties. Um, I didn't enjoy this. This was ineffective. It smelled bad. It was a weird color and texture. Would not seek that out. Um, I have these two foil packets here. These are the Dr. Dennis Gross Ferulic Plus Retinol Wrinkle Recovery Peels. These were incredible. They are stupid expensive. I think they're like $5.50 per pack based on the full size, which is just bananas. But this might be something that I would use maybe once a month um, just to keep my skin in check because I did find that it was very effective without irritating my skin. My skin just felt really soft and smooth and I saw my pores being minimized. It didn't irritate my skin. There was a little bit of redness, but there was no sensitivity, which was amazing. Um, because these are so, like, I don't know, well formulated. I really enjoyed them, so I would absolutely use more of those. I don't know if Dr. Dennis Gross is cruelty free or not, but whatever. Um, then the last item that I used up is these, um, sheet masks. These, uh, 
Sally's Box Secret Garden Olive Oil and Camellia Oil Ampoule Masks. I reviewed these in my sheet mask empties for June 2017. These were good. I would definitely use them again, but I don't think that I would like seek them out to buy. Um, I don't think that they're cruelty free, but if I can get them in a swap, I would definitely use them again. So those are all the things that I finished up. I have a ton of things that I'm still working on and it's kind of driving me crazy because I have so many products that have been hanging around for months. So let's get into those. The first thing here is the, the Balm Cabana Boy blush. I had hit pan um, last update and I have expanded the pan. Uh, I have no idea how long this is going to take me. It's taking a freaking lifetime. I've been wearing this as my blush exclusively. I've also been applying it to my crease. You can probably see it a little bit, um, but it's just lasting forever. And yeah, I'm happy with the amount of progress that I've made since the last update, but I just wanted to go away. <laughs> so there's that. Next is the NYX Butter Lipstick in Pops. This has been kicking around for a long time. I've been using this as a cream blush and I really like it. Uh, I just don't use it on my lips because I don't really like regular lipsticks anymore. I've been so spoiled with liquid lipsticks, but um, that's where I am. I'm a little bit below the last mark, which is awesome. I, I don't know how long this is going to take me to finish up. I just hope that I'm finished with this before the end of the year, honestly. The next thing I have here is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Driver Seat. I have this on my lips right now. I have a gloss on top, but um, I have been wearing this two times or so a week, and it's getting there. There's a lot of like clear spots on the packaging, and when I look into it, I can see the bottom. So I do think that I'm going to be having to pull out the stopper soon, and hopefully I can finish this off before the next update. Then the gloss that I have on top is this one. This is the Balm Read My Lips Lip Gloss in BAM. I This is the gloss that never ends. I think I'm going to try and use this like at home as like a lip treatment kind of a thing just to have on my lips anytime because it's a very comfortable formula. I'm still pulling out product. I haven't taken the stopper out yet. Um, I'm assuming that this packaging is clear, but I have it set upright in my bag at all times and it never settles so I don't know how far I am with this but I do use this um, three or four times a week so there's that then I have this guy this is the balm mad lash black mascara I think I added this in last month I love this I I love this so much I didn't think that I would and I had like two of them and I tried to swap them away but like this is amazing I have this on my lashes today I've been wearing it on my lashes every day that I've worn makeup and it's just incredible I feel like it builds volume really fast it's a little clumpy but not like horrendous <laughs> um, I do like a little bit of clump I don't like complete separation of my lashes but I just love the way that it looks it barely transfers to my brow bone which is a huge issue for me so I absolutely love this. It's, I think it's a mascara that I would repurchase. Um, I know the Balm does like 50% off sales like once or twice a year and when I use up some more mascaras I might actually buy that. Um, on the other end of the spectrum here, this is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Um, I've been using this on my lower lashes because this transfers to my brow bone horrifically it's terrible um but it's it performs fine on the lower lashes but because i'm only using it there there's still a ton of product in here um i'm going to continue using it i don't know how much longer i'm going to continue using it since it's been open for a few months but um it's not irritating my eyes or anything it doesn't smell weird at all so i'm going to continue working on it for now then we have the makeup forever step one skin equalizer smoothing primer this is the primer that never ends I'm really going to focus on it this month and try and work through it before the next update. Now that I finished off the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer that's in another project, um, I think that I can focus on this more, but I'm just ready to say goodbye to this. 
Um, similarly, this guy, the Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer. I'm all the way up here and I really have to work to get product out, but because you only need like a pinpoint per day, it's just lasting a very long time. But it, this is another one where I really just want to get through it. Um, you ever have those products where you just want to overuse it just to get through it faster? It's not that it's a bad product at all, I'm just tired of it, you know? So yeah. Then we have the LOC and Tati, um, always on, no, one and done shadow stick in on point. So that's how much I have. I've sharpened this two or three times in the past month. I am wearing it as an eyeshadow base today. I like it. I hope that I can finish this off in, I don't know, two or three months. Then I've got the Cynthia Rowley Brightening Illuminator. This is a very small sample, but um, I only use like a small half of a pea size amount per day and it's lasting, but hopefully I can finish this off before the next update. There's not a ton in here. I feel like it's down to about there. So I think with consistent use, I can get through that by the next update. The next product I have is the Aero Boost Color Enhancing Lip Balm. This was new when I added it in last month. So I am that far with it. I made very significant progress with this. I kind of wish that I had done markings to see my progress, but I think that I can finish this off by next month. If not, definitely by the month after that. Um, it's fine. That's pretty much all I have to say about it so far. Then we have the uh, Sunday Riley Ceramic Slip Clay Cleanser. I added this in last month as well, and I am about to there. I really have to force myself to use this, but I will review this when I finish it up, but that's how far I am. I think I'm going to finish this off by the next update. And then I have the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, I do need to get a move on with this. I used it two, maybe three times this month, but again, now that I finished off the other primer, I can focus on this as well as the Makeup Forever and get this out of my collection. Um, then we've got the Erin Water Lily Sun Eau de Parfum. This was pretty much new when I started it last month. I was working on another fragrance in another project, um, so I didn't get super far with it, but I am pleased with the amount of progress that I've made. I think that I can finish this off in about two months, so there's that. And then my last product that I'm rolling over is the Not Soap Radio Joy Inducing Hand and Body Lotion. This is lemon scented, and I don't have much in here. I just haven't been needing it because it I... <laughs> I mostly have dry hands um, in the winter time, you know, so I just haven't really been thinking about it, so whatever, it's fine. So I have 15 products that I am rolling over, and as usual, we're adding in 10 more items, so I'm up to 25. This is kind of crazy. But let me show you what I've picked out to add in for this month. First thing is this Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. So it's just this little vial. I don't know anything about this. I haven't tested this at all yet. It is brand new, so hopefully it's not going to be super intense or anything. I just, I just want to start working through it. Then I have the Real Chemistry Luminous 3-Minute Peel. This is the last one that I have in my stash. I don't really care for this, but it's not a terrible product. I just want to work through it. This is um, 5 milliliters or 0.17 ounces, so I think I can use it up in one month. We'll, sh we'll see. Then I've got the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. This is 4 milliliters or 0.14 ounces. It's again brand new. I haven't used it at all. I can't get it off the card, but that's how big the sample is. It's about as big as like my pinky finger. <laughs> What is this angle even? But yeah, um, hopefully I can use this up relatively quickly. Then I just started using this today. This is the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Brightening and Smoothing Daily Moisturizer. Um, this is one ounce of product. I think that it'll take me like two months to work through. I'm not too sure. Um, but this expires at the end of the year, so I do want to use that up. I've also added in the Organic Pharmacy Purifying Seaweed Clay Mask. This is, I believe, um, 7 milliliters or 0.24 ounces, so I think I can work through this in one month. Um, I haven't tried it. It's brand new. 
I've also added in a serum. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. This is also new. I've never used it. I don't know anything about it, so we'll see. I've decided to add in two more sheet masks that came as a pair in a box. Um, these are both from Sally's Box again. They are the Love Recipe Aloe Mask and the Acai Berry Mask. And I don't know anything about them. But I did like the other Sally's Box mask, so I figured I can work on those this month. Then I am almost out of my under eye setting powder that I've been working on. So I've decided to add this guy in. This is the Dermablend Professional Loose Setting Powder. It's 5 grams, 0.18 ounces. This is brand new. I've never tried it. It's still sealed. Um, I don't know how long it'll take me to use it, but I will start working on that soon. I've also decided to add in another liquid lipstick because I'm a glutton for punishment. This is the Tarte Tartist um, Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint in Rosé. I've had this in my purse for a little while and I don't really like it. It is more drying than most liquid lipsticks that I have, but it is very small and I think that I can work through it relatively quickly. I think I've used this, I don't know, half a dozen... I don't know, six to ten times, and I am already down to like here. So I'm hoping that I can actually work through this kind of quickly because it's not my favorite formula. And the last product that I'm adding in is from Model Co. It's the More Brows Brow Gel in Medium Dark. I have been working on this already, but I figured I would add it into this project just to see how long it takes me to use up. But it's similar to like the Benefit Gimme Brow. It's got a really fine small brush and it's pigmented and it's not super wet it's more of a dry formula so hopefully that means that it will dry out fast <laughs> not that i don't like it it's just i have a lot of brow products to work on so those are everything that i am adding in that's everything that i have going on in this project and what i finished up let me know how you're doing, if you're doing any projects. I am so excited to see what everyone else has been up to with this project. I will have everybody that's participating listed and linked down below, so please go check them out if you haven't already. If you're coming from someone else's channel, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it will convince you to subscribe and stick around a while. Anyway, that's it from me. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch all of you in my next video. Bye guys.